Dobrý večer, dámy a pánové. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Bonsoir, mesdames, monsieur. I would like to cordially welcome you to our Czech National Day celebration honoring Canadians and Czech Canadians who helped save Czechoslovakia, our modern statehood, during the Second World War. These are difficult times. Of course, I am very sorry that we cannot really be together, shake our hands and make our glasses cling on this special occasion. However, as we should try to make the most of every situation, I believe that celebrating our National Day online this year is an opportunity. We can celebrate together regardless where we are in Canada and even beyond the Canadian borders. Our thanks can reach more families whose members took part in the incredible effort that put Czechoslovakia back on the map of Europe 75 years ago. I would like to send my warm greetings to our viewers in Canada, the Czech Republic, the United States and anywhere else. Thank you for accepting our invitation and being with us tonight. Bienvenue à notre célébration une fois de plus. We will have incredible guests with us tonight. Please allow me to introduce the first two, the Czech rock legend Petr Janda and his daughter, a star of the European rock music scene, Marta Jandová. I would like to ask them to present the national anthems of the Czech Republic and Canada. Kde domov můj, kde domov můj, voda hůčí po lučinách, bory šumí po skalinách, v sadě skví se jara květ, Zemský ráj to na pohled a to je ta krásná země, země česká, domov můj, země česká, domov můj. Oh. Canada, our home and native land, true patriot love in all of us command, car ton bras se porte le pays, il se porte la croix. Ton histoire est une épopée des plus brillants exploits. God keep our land glorious and free. Oh, Canada, we stand on guard for thee. Oh, Canada, we stand on guard for thee. Krásný dobrý den, jmenuji se Marta Jandová a jsem moc ráda, že můžu zaspívat kanadskou hymnu při této příležitosti. Hi, my name is Marta Jandová and I'm very honored to be able to sing the Canadian anthem. Greets from Prague. Mějte se. Mnohokrát děkuji Petrovi Jandovi a Marti Jandové. We have the incredible honor of having with us tonight the Prime Ministers of both countries, His Excellency Andrej Babiš and the Right Honorable Justin Trudeau. I greatly appreciate their support for this project, which pays tribute to the deep roots of friendship between our nations. Ladies and gentlemen, dear members of the Czech community in Canada and around the world, dear friends, I am honored to greet you today and contribute to the virtual celebration of the National Day of the Czech Republic organized by the Czech Embassy in Canada. Special thanks belong to Mr. Ambassador Bořek Lizec, who seized the opportunity and even under these unusual circumstances 
prepared a rich festive program. The documentary Together to Victory, screened at this occasion, reminds us of the close long-standing relations between our countries, not only on the highest political level, but also the people-to-people -people ties linking our nations, which proved essential during the difficult time of the Second World War. As we commemorate the 75th anniversary of the end of the Second World War this year, I am pleased to say that today the Czech Republic and Canada are close allies in NATO and share the values it represents, such as peace, security, prosperity and cooperation. Our soldiers serve together in NATO's enhanced forward presence in Latvia. Canada is a part of the NATO Center of Excellence in Vyškov and the Royal Canadian Air Force participated at NATO's days in Ostrava last year, to name just a few examples of the current active Czech-Canadian cooperation in the area of defense. I believe that our strong partnership will continue to be of great benefit to both our countries in these challenging times of the coronavirus pandemic and that together we will make sure our societies and economics will come out of this crisis stronger and better. Na závěr mi dovolte říct si pár slov v českém jazyce a pozdravit českou komunitu v Kanadě a poděkovat vám za vaši trvalou podporu České republice. Přeji vám hlavně hodně zdraví, štěstí a osobní spokojenosti. Thank you and I wish you all the best. Happy Czech National Day. Hello everyone, bonjour à tous. Today we join the people of the Czech Republic and Czech communities across Canada and around the world to celebrate the National Day of the Czech Republic. We also join to honor and remember the courageous Canadians and Czech Canadians who helped save Czechoslovakia during the Second World War. I want to thank the Czech Embassy and Ambassador Bohek Lizetz for telling the stories of these brave soldiers as we continue to mark the 75th anniversary of the end of the Second World War. We owe an incredible debt of gratitude to all those who answered the call to serve. And this documentary will help ensure that we never forget the many who made and those who continue to make the ultimate sacrifice to defend our freedoms. It will also highlight the strong relationship between our two countries over the last 75 years. And through people-to-people -people ties, our continued partnership for peace and security and the strength of the transatlantic alliance, the relationship between Canada and the Czech Republic will continue to grow. Le Canada et la République tchèque entretiennent une relation spéciale depuis de très nombreuses années. Et ces liens entre nos deux pays ne font que se renforcer avec le temps. Thank you again for creating this documentary, and I wish everyone celebrating a happy National Day. Encore une fois, merci. The 75th anniversary of the end of the Second World War left me in no doubt as to what should be the main theme of this year's celebration of our National Day. During the terrible conflict, our friends and compatriots in this great country wrote one of the most impressive chapters in the remarkable story of Czech-Canadian friendship. I would like to thank my colleague Radek Hasha and other friends who helped me turn at least few stories of transatlantic solidarity, bravery and sacrifice into a short film. We present you the glorious story that we honor this evening. Přejeme vám příjemné sledování našeho filmu Together to Victory společně k vítězství. Jedu nocí se svým koněm sám. se mokud nevím ani kam. Nikdo neloušil se se mnou, na nikoho nečekám. Jedu nocí se svým koněm sám.
Czechoslovakia was founded on October 28, 1918, with the substantial help of Czechs in Canada and the United States. Since the beginning, the new country has been impressing the world. Under the leadership of President Tomáš Gadig Masaryk, a highly respected champion of humanism, it has become the strongest democracy in Central Europe and one of the 10 most developed countries in the world. We join President Masaryk during his visit in Zlín, the seat of the Bata Shoe Company. The globally operating firm is a source of pride for the nation. As a result of its pioneer activities around the world, Bata means shoe in some languages. The country's success is well deserved. Almost 150,000 of its men fought bravely alongside the Allies for freedom and democracy in World War I. The founding president of Czechoslovakia, Tomáš Garig Masaryk, passes away. The nation mourns the loss of the beloved leader. This is also true for Czechs in Canada. It seems like the whole nation gathered in the streets of Prague on the day of the funeral to pay tribute. The country has been facing a growing threat from Nazi Germany. President Masaryk's friend and successor in the presidential office, Edvard Benesch, has found himself in an increasingly difficult situation. The eyes of the world are on Czechoslovakia. May the passing of the great humanist not mark an end of a happy era for Czechoslovakia and the world. September 30, 1938, forces Czechoslovakia to cede a significant part of its territory to Nazi Germany. German Chancellor Adolf Hitler promises that this is his last territorial demand in Europe. The Canadian Prime Minister, Mackenzie King, is agitated by the behavior of the Czechoslovak allies, Great Britain and France. He does not believe that the sacrifice demanded of the Central European nation will bring peace. In protest against the agreement, the country's co-founder, Edvard Benesch, resigns as Czechoslovak president and goes into exile. The parting of the ways has come. In his magnificent gilded office, President Benesch signs his resignation. For 20 years, he has labored to build up his wartime dream of a free Czechoslovakia. He has lived to see his work almost shattered. On March 16, 1939, Nazi Germany invades the rest of the territory of the Czech lands. The Associate Press reports from Prague. Through the snow, the legions of occupation march into Czechoslovakia. This rapid stroke, which has outraged all freedom-loving nations of the world, is carried out with military exactitude. Artillery rolls into Prague and mounts guard on the Hradšin, the castle of King Wenceslas. Presently, from a window of the castle, you may catch a glimpse of Hitler himself contemplating his new conquest. Edward Benesch, former Czech president at the Chicago University Roundtable, says the Republic still lives. The Nazi regime will fall and will be replaced by a free democratic rule in Germany and in Central Europe as a whole. Czechoslovakia will be again a free and independent state in a new and free Europe. From the United States, where he currently serves as a professor at the University of Chicago, 
Edvard Benesch declares to act again as the Czechoslovak president. He establishes the first provisional political center of the Czechoslovak resistance. He calls on Czechoslovak diplomatic missions around the world not to surrender embassies and consulates to Germany. He asks them to continue to serve as Czechoslovak missions under his leadership. Following the instructions of the Czechoslovak president in exile, Edvard Benesch, the consul general of Czechoslovakia in Montreal, František Pavlasek, resisted the German attempts to take control of his office. He succeeds with the support of the Royal Canadian Mounted Police. Members of Sokol protected the consulate as well. The organization was founded in Prague in 1862 and quickly spread to Czech communities around the world, including Canada. This is how Sogals celebrated their last international congress in Prague in 1938, when Czechoslovakia was still free. Sokol has promoted physical fitness and intellectual development of its members and the nation. Sokols formed the core of the Czechoslovak army in World War I and are now determined to do the same again 20 years later. Canadian Sokols are no exception. Czech Canadians took part in the creation of Czechoslovakia during World War I. When Professor Tomáš Garig Masaryk asked them for help in the campaign for national independence, they responded enthusiastically. They raised funds and enlisted in the Canadian and Czechoslovak armies to fight for freedom in the war. They also helped put the new country on its feet after the conflict ended. Czech Canadians sacrificed a lot for their country, yet only 20 years later all their work was lost. Seeing the nation's dream of an independent Czechoslovakia crushed, they, however, do not hesitate to come to aid again. Their response has been immediate. Already on April 9, a four-member Czech-Canadian delegation visits President Benesch in Chicago and pledges him full support. The Czechoslovak National Alliance of Canada was established at a Congress in Toronto on June 25, 1939. The organization now has 91 branches across Canada. It serves as an important advocate of the Czechoslovak cause in Canada and generates substantial financial contributions. Czech Canadians volunteer to fight for freedom in arms. The Canadian government has never accepted the German occupation of the Czech lands. In fact, Canada was the first great power to recognize the Czechoslovak government in exile already on October 12, 1940. The Canadian government provides training grounds to Czechoslovak pilots serving in the Royal Canadian Air Force. It also grants full support to the Czechoslovak Army Mission, which arrived in Canada on July 2, 1941, to draft the volunteers for the National Armed Forces. Czech Canadians take great pride in the appointment of Karel Buzek, Secretary General of the Czechoslovak National Association of Canada, as the executive director of the Canadian Relief Fund. Canadians extend a warm welcome to the son of the late Czechoslovak president Tomáš Garig Masaryk, Jan Masaryk. The charismatic politician serves as Minister of Foreign Affairs of the Czechoslovak government in exile. As he tours North America, Canadians have shown a lot of sympathy for the tragic fate of his nation. The tireless advocate of the Czechoslovak cause delivers two or three major addresses a day. He also meets with Czechoslovak communities. Believe me, sir, and you, my friend, it's now or never. Canada and the Czechoslovak government in London established diplomatic relations on the ambassadorial level. Dr. František Pavlasek, who has served until now as the Czechoslovak Consul General in Montreal, becomes the first Czechoslovak ambassador to Canada. General Georges Vanier, a man with an exceptional reputation and a bright political future, becomes the first Canadian ambassador to the Czechoslovak government. Some say that one day, General Vanier could become Governor General of Canada.
Tomasz Bata Jr. is the son of the late founder of the Czechoslovak Bata Shoe Company, Tomasz Bata Sr. In the summer of 1938, when war was on the horizon, he decided to move across the Atlantic to Canada. After the personal intervention of Prime Minister Mackenzie King, Mr. Bata was allowed to bring 100 skilled employees from Czechoslovakia to Canada. Soon a new production plant in Ontario began to produce not only military boots, but also other war equipment. Tomasz Bata Jr. serves not only as the head of the global operating company, but also as a member of the Canadian Reserve Army, an economic advisor to the Czechoslovak government in exile, and a special envoy of the British government in India. The new town of Batawa has become an important centre of the Czech war effort in Canada. A number of men have left to fight for Czechoslovak freedom in Europe, while others enlist in the Canadian Reserve Army and continue to use their skills in war production. A so-called unit and a branch of the Czechoslovak National Alliance of Canada were established in Batawa. In 1941, the Bata Company pledged to contribute $150,000 to the Victory Loan. By 1942, the company's employees had raised another $14,200. On July 2nd, 1942, the town hosted the Day of the Allied Nations in the presence of Canadian government ministers Tom Krahar and Colin Gibson. At the White House in Washington, a guard of honor stands at salute in honor of a distinguished visitor, President Edward Benish of Czechoslovakia. Accompanied by Secretary of State Cordell Hull, President Benish greets President Roosevelt and is introduced to the President's daughter, Mrs. Anna Bettiger. <music> Members of the Cabinet extend a hearty welcome to the visitor. One of the great leaders of pre-war Europe and a fervent defender of democratic traditions, President Benish works unceasingly to free his nation from the yoke of Nazi Germany. A second distinguished visitor arrives at the White House. On the heels of the Allied victory in Tunisia, Prime Minister Winston Churchill arrives in Washington for his fifth wartime conference with President Roosevelt and a discussion of plans for the next moves against the Axis. Canadian Prime Minister Mackenzie King attends the conference between U.S. President Roosevelt and British Prime Minister Churchill. During the conference in Washington, two bilateral meetings between the Canadian Prime Minister and Czechoslovak President take place on May 18th and 19th. I was much taken with Dr. Benish and his prophecy he had made about the trend the war might take. He told me it was not so much a prophecy as a careful study of the whole situation, says Prime Minister Mackenzie King. I gladly accepted the invitation from my dear friend, Prime Minister King, to visit Canada. I greatly look forward to seeing him soon again, responds Dr. Benish. Prague is the capital of Czechoslovakia, now occupied by Nazi Germany. However, there is still a free Prague in Canada. It is one of the rural settlements founded by Czech immigrants who came to the country searching for agricultural land. The Canadian Prague was established in 1904 in the middle of the prairies of Alberta. To little surprise, the first settlers came from Prague. However, not from Bohemia, but Oklahoma in the United States. The town grew as more Czechs followed them from the U.S. as well as Europe. Just as during World War I, the people of Prague, Alberta, again take part in the struggle for a free Czechoslovakia. Since the beginning of the war, six boys are with the Canadian Army overseas, and several others are training here in Canada. Even though our great-grandparents left Bohemia a hundred years ago, all our Czechoslovak descendants still speak Czech or Slovak. We are always proud to say that we come from the Czechoslovak race, says Anne Martinovsky on behalf of Prague citizens. Czechoslovak president in exile, Edvard Benesch, arrives in Canada on an official visit. 
Even though his country was wiped off the map by Nazi Germany, Dr. Benesch is received with all honors as head of state. Earl of Athlone, Governor General of Canada, Prime Minister Mackenzie King, and many other dignitaries personally welcome him at the Ottawa Railway Station. Czech Canadians celebrate the special occasion and cordially greet their hero. After meeting with the Governor General at Government House, President Benesch arrives at the Canadian Parliament. He holds a joint press conference with Prime Minister King. The two statesmen then address both chambers of Parliament. The Munich Agreement has ceased to exist as a factor, either in present or post-war relations. We look forward to the day, which we hope is coming speedily, when the Czechoslovak Republic in its entirety will be restored to its full independence, says Prime Minister Mackenzie King in his introduction. All Czechoslovaks are greatly indebted to Canada for the magnanimity with which he received Czechoslovak citizens who fled from their homeland in the past several years. The sympathy of the Canadian government and people for Czechoslovakia, expressed in words and deeds during the past four years, has been an encouragement and inspiration in this darkest period of modern Czechoslovak history, states President Benesch. President Benesch also pays a visit to the Royal Canadian Air Force airfield at Uplands. He is accompanied by Air Marshals Bredner and Bishop. President Benesch meets with Czechoslovak pilots in training with the Royal Canadian Air Force. During his visit in Ottawa, Dr. Benesch was the guest of honor at an official dinner hosted by the Governor General, Princess Alice, and Prime Minister Mackenzie King at Government House. Several social events also took place at the Czechoslovak Embassy. There was a series of meetings between the Czechoslovak president and the Canadian prime minister over the last few days. Now the time has come to say goodbye. It is not only a farewell between two statesmen, but between two friends. Prime Minister Mackenzie King noted in his diary, Dr. Benesch is an honest man with a sincere soul and deep love for the people. The conversation with him gave me confidence in my own life and work to see that our purposes and views were so completely one. It was like coming to a long sought for land of promise to discover in Dr. Benesch a spirit so wholly kindred to my own. A day after the departure of President Benesch, Prime Minister Mackenzie King reconsiders his position not to run for re-election. I shall be able to win and to round out a great career based on principles, beliefs and actions like those of Benesch. As allies push for victories in Europe, Czechoslovak Senator Vojta Benesch, brother of Czechoslovak President Edvard Benesch, hopes for an early return to his homeland. He looks back at his years in exile in North America. Just as during World War I, he traveled tirelessly across Canada visiting Czech settlements. Czech Canadians not only invited me to their homes, but also opened the door for me among Canadians. Rest assured that Canada and its people have grown to my heart like nothing else in these sad years, Mr. Benesch says. The second struggle for Czechoslovak independence, led by President Benesch and supported by Czech and Slovak Canadians, is again crowned with success. Canadian and Czech troops helped defeat Nazism. The Czechoslovak Republic is free.
Být v sedmém nebi, to dokážete stěží. Z milionu přijdou tam jen dva. Být v sedmém nebi, a o to právě běží. Může jen kdo srdce z lásky dá. Proto již neváhej a mě věř, že je to tak. Srdce své hned mi dej a pak vzhůru do vlak. Být v sedmém nebi, to dokážete stěží. Z milionu přijdou tam jen dva. A to právě budem ty a já. A o to právě běží, může jen kdo srdce z lásky dá. Proto již neváhej a mě věř, že je to tak. Srdce své hned mi dej a pak vzhůru do vlak. Být v sedmém nebi, to dokážete stěží. Z milionu přijdou tam jen dva. A to právě budem ty a já. As you can see, while we were watching our documentary, I was able to move to a new location. I am in front of the Canadian Parliament, where President Edward Beneš delivered his address in 1943 and President Václav Havel in 1999. Before I pass the floor to our incredible guests, official representatives of our countries and prominent Czech Canadians, I would like to say a few words about our music program. All songs that will be performed tonight were written by Czech-Canadian songwriter Jiří Traxler. Mr. Traxler co-defined the Czech swing era before the Second World War and later found refuge in his new home in Canada. I would like to share with you that when I asked several Czech music stars to be part of our program, their reaction was quite remarkable. All of them immediately said yes, including those who will perform Jiří Traxler's songs for the very first time in their careers. We will have quite a unique opportunity to hear his songs, not only in the original style of the 1930s, but also as contemporary jazz, even rock and country music. I wish to thank all our stars so much for honoring Jiří Traxler and those who helped save Czechoslovakia during World War II. And who could better take it away than a man who made a film and a concert show about Mr. Traxler, Andrei Havelka and his melody makers. The 
the people get around When he gets on the stand That money plays He gets a hand The rhythm he plays Put the guys in the trend Nobody there And for the students That money chance For the bass and guitar They have a roll Beat me daddy Head to the bar Playing Bling 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 Dear Canadians and Czech Canadians, I and my melody makers are sending the warmest greetings, and we would like to dedicate this piece from the pen of George Drexler to all of you whose family members helped in the restoration of our motherland, Czechoslovakia, after World War II. So, happy listening. Ladies and gentlemen, dear friends in Canada, greetings from home quarantine. We are celebrating anniversary of our Czechoslovakian independence. Not everybody knows how strong it's linked to Canada and how free Czechoslovakia has always been cherished by Canadians and by Czechs in Canada, in our large community outside of the homeland. In April 1918, chief leader of Czechoslovak independent movement abroad and first president Masaryk started his America tour in Vancouver. Canada, with a conspiracy passport and name Thomas Marsden. And then he left New York in November 1918 as the first president of Czechoslovakia. This heritage is still alive. In Toronto, I visited Masaryk Town, a famous Czechoslovak haven originally with his governing organization, the Masaryk Memorial Institute, which helps keep alive Czech and Slovak traditions in Canada. Thousands of our citizens found their new home in Canada escaping the Nazis and after the communistic takeover of Czechoslovakia in February 1948, as well as after the Soviet occupation of Czechoslovakia in 1968. We remember the friendship and solidarity of Canadian people provided to thousands of Czech refugees. For many of us, Canada is a source of living inspiration. The connections with Canada have been preserved all the time. Now. We are a valued ally of NATO and we shape strong transatlantic relations between Europe and North America. 
We are committed security partners. The friendship between the Czech Republic and Canada is not just a formal alliance between two states. It's the friendship among the people, the context and connections are broad and complex in business, culture, science and sport. As I always say, Canada is birthplace of ice hockey and Czech Republic is birthplace of beer. This combination makes us great forever. I wish Canada and Czech Republic a successful common future. Ahoy everyone. This is John Broussard, Member of Parliament for Barry Innisfil and Shadow Minister for Veterans Affairs. I'd like to thank Ambassador Lisette for asking me to be part of this video today that celebrates Czech National Day 2020. I'm glad to join my colleagues and friends today to honor Canadians and Czech Canadians who served Canada and helped save Czechoslovakia during World War II. Our allyship traces back to the Second World War where the Royal Canadian Mounted Police and those in uniform helped defend the Czechoslovak Consulate General from siege by the Nazis. It was during these moments in history where our formal diplomatic relationship began. In 1942, General Georges Vanier became the first Canadian ambassador to Czechoslovakia and would later become Canada's Governor General. On behalf of a grateful nation, we thank our soldiers and their families for their sacrifices and for helping to build the strong relationship that Canada and the Czech Republic have today. Daikui zi Canada. This is the brother and sister act of Otto and Maria Jelinek. They won the 1962 World Pair Championship in Prague, Czechoslovakia, their native country from which they fled with their parents years earlier. Dobry večer and good evening. My name is Otto Jelinek, or I like to say in Canada, Otto Jelinek. And I'm very proud to be a Canadian, and I'm very proud to be a Czech. On this the 75th anniversary of the end of the World War II, it is time to reflect as well as celebrate the many achievements that Czech Canadians have achieved around the world. We will, of course, never forget the sacrifices that have been made by so many Czech Canadians to help end the war. The first time I returned to Prague after our escape in 1948, was for the 1962 World Figure Skating Championships, where my sister Maria and I, of course, skated for Canada. But with our hearts, we won the gold medal for the Czech and Slovak people. I returned again after the Velvet Revolution to participate in the exciting transformation from a communist state to a democratic market economy. In my last three years in the Czech Republic, I was honored to have had been appointed to serve the Canadian people as ambassador, Canadian ambassador in the Czech Republic. I wish to thank all Czech Canadians in Canada, the Czech Republic, and indeed around the world for continuing to make the relationship such a special relationship for all. Děkuji a přeju vám všechno nejlepší. Dobrý večer, přátelé, zdravíme vás z Prahy, z České republiky. Hi everyone, this is our greeting to all the Czech Canadians in Canada and all around the world. And we wanted to pay a tribute to great jazz composer, lyricist Jiří Traxler. This is our, our version of a wonderful song by Cole Porter with Czech words by Mr. Traxler. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Jan Smigmator at Hammond, Andrej Pivec and our tribute to Mr. Traxler. Let's enjoy the show. Tish. 
Vše den zasíná. Já se ven z okna dívám. Která k soumrak se zvolna snáší níž a níž. Tiše den zasíná. Chvíli té vždycky snívám. Všeru zřím tvoji tvář, ty sama někde v dáli dlíš. Máš mě ráda, jak já tě mám. Vrátíš se zpátky zas, Poste se ptám, což nejkrásnější sen, jejíž jsem kdy snil, bude dál pouhým snem, který ztrácí se jen jako den, když zhasí I'm in front of Loria House, where not only President Edward Benesch, but also our Foreign Minister Jan Masaryk met with Canadian Prime Minister Mackenzie King and members of his cabinet during the war. I invited our honorary consuls and major community organizations in Canada to be part of our program. Here is the first set of their short greetings, or I could perhaps say the first video album of Czech Canada today. Svátku České republiky z Montrealu srdečně zdraví honorální konsul Hinek Žikovský a jeho partneři Patrik Gudro a Berná Kola. Ať, Ať je Česká, Česká republika! republika. Československé státnosti za honorální konzulát ve Winnipeku vás zdraví Vladimír Hlas.
Dobrý den, krajanej z Winnipegu zdraví Českou republiku. A zdraví. Sending you our warmest greetings on this Czech national holiday from the birthplace of Canada, Prince Edward Island. Dobrý den, já jsem Jan Steinský, honorární koncert z Charlottetownu. Posíláme srdeční pozdrav v příležitosti státního svátku České republiky. Dobrý den, my name is Robert May. I'm president of Masaryk Memorial Institute here in Toronto. This has been a very extraordinary year here at Masaryk Town in Canada and around the world. I hope that you are all safe and healthy. I would like to thank Ambassador Lijek for inviting me to say greetings on the occasion of Czech National Day in Canada, October 28th. We honor those who served and worked to help save Czechoslovakia during World War II. We will survive this pandemic and come back stronger and healthier than ever before. Please enjoy the program and happy 90th birthday to my father, Yaroslav Tomei. Děkuji. Dobrý den a všechno nejlepší všem. Česká škola Otava při všechno nejlepší. Happy Independence Day from Ottawa Czech School. Nous vous souhaitons une merveilleuse fête nationale de la République Czech. Dear friends, I would like in the name of the General Consulate of the Czech Republic here in Toronto to greet you and to wish you all the best on the occasion of the National Day of the Czech Republic. I came to Toronto uh, less than two months ago and in a very strange time where all the world is affected by this epidemic. I would like to wish you good health and please take care. Nevertheless, I have had already the opportunity to meet many our compatriots, many Czech people living here, and I would like to share with you my respect to everything what they have achieved here in Canada. I think one of the reasons why they succeeded was that they brought with themselves something which stood at the birth of the Czechoslovakia, some uh, essential values as parliamentary democracy, humanity, respect to the rule of law, and solidarity. I think there are also the values on which was based the current Czech Republic, founded in 1993. And I think it was also the reason why we are able to establish our partnership and alliance with our Western countries very soon. Now we are committed with Canada on many issues around the world. We are allies and we are partners. I am very happy about that and I am very happy 
living now here and serving for my country. Live long Czech Republic, live long Canada, live long our partnership. Thank you very much. I love Java sweet and high. Whoops, Mr. Mono, I'm a coffee pot. Hezky sem, oslečně se mi zdá, a já si liboval. Takže bych byl hrozně rád, se neprobudil, ale pak člověka zarmoutí, když ráno kohoutí, kokrálí, čímž pak jsem se končí. Koupil jsem si brokovnici, pobyl kohoutí, Nemohu teď na ulici, sousedy mám ve zloutí. Čekám jen, až jsem se vrátí zpět. Musím se dozvědět, jak to vůbec s tou sažou dopadlo. Hi folks, Canadians, Czech Canadians and everyone else. This is the Volta Quart of the Swings from Prague. And we would like to greet you on the occasion of the anniversary of the end of World War II with a song by a great Czech-Canadian swing composer, George Traxler. It's called Selbeskonce, a dream without the end. Enjoy our music. Koupil jsem si v rokovnici Pobyl kohoutí, nemohu teď na ulici, sousedy máme zloutí. Čekám jen, až jsem se vrátí zpět, musím se dozvědět, jak to vůbec s tou zlžou dopadlo. Stay tuned and stay well. I've just arrived in Barawa. Let's see what it looks like here today. As you already know, this town was founded by the Bata Shoe Company and its Czech employees in 1939. This was by no means an exceptional undertaking. The company used its traditional concept here, which it used all over the world. When a new Bata factory was constructed, a new town was built along with it. The Bata company always had in mind the well-being of its employees, so it built houses for them, a grocery store, a recreation hall and clubs. Barawa Ski Hill was added in 1955. The factory was closed down in 2000, however, Barawa is still a vibrant community that takes pride of its Czech history and continues traditions of its founders. There is a community center, volunteer fire hall, school, church and outdoor education center. The ski hill is still in operation as well. I'm in front of the former Batashu company, now a residential complex. I could not wish for a better place to introduce our next guests for distinguished Czech Canadians. Thomas G. Batya, former head of the Batashu company, Ambassador Sarah Radetsky, one of the most prominent Canadian diplomats whose Czech parents work here for the company in Badawa. Ludmila Zeman, an Oscar-nominated filmmaker and visual artist whose father, Karel Zeman, a world-renowned film director, began his career in the Bata Film Studios in Czechoslovakia. And Georgina Sehnoutka Steinsky, a former deputy minister in the Canadian government and businesswoman 
who led the return of the Bata Shoe Company to Czechoslovakia after the Velvet Revolution. Enjoy these incredible stories of four Czech Canadian families that span over generations. I shall see you back in Ottawa, and it's not really around the corner, so I should get it going. My primary contact with anything to do with Czechoslovakia when I was growing up was during the summer months when we moved to Canada and specifically Barowa, where my father had gone as a young man in 1934. A number of the senior executives of the Bacha organization had settled there after the war, including Dominic Chipperer, who had been the CFO and mayor of Slin, as well as Anthony Sakota. Uh, who had been a, a brilliant human resource uh, director. That gave me some insight as to the reasons of why the Bachi organization had been so successful. In 1989-1990, of course, things changed dramatically with the opening up of uh, the east to the, the west. My father, who was 76 at the time, and had spoken relatively little Czech for maybe the last 40 years, uh, regained his knowledge of Czech uh, very quickly and moved to, to Prague to, to embark on what turned out to be a 14-year mission in, in helping the fledgling Czech Republic adjust to the free market uh, world, as well as instill uh, the sense of uh, entrepreneurism which had been be behind this, much of the success of the Bacha group. During these years, I was able to share with him some outstanding uh, memorable events, meeting Havel in one of the huge celebrations that took place at the time, as well as uh, returning to Zlin uh, at the time when they changed the name uh, back from Gottwaldorf uh, to, to Zlin. I would like to uh, thank Ambassador Borzak Lisek for including me in these uh, Czech National Day celebrations. I wish you lots of success with them and my very, very best wishes. My name is Sarah Herdetsky. I've had the honor and the pleasure of representing Canada abroad as ambassador and high commissioner to the United Arab Emirates, to Mexico, to Kenya, Somalia, Rwanda, Uganda, and also as Consul General in Ho Chi Minh City, Vietnam. Uh, my mother, Yaroslava Novak, uh, she came to Canada from Zlin uh, as the daughter of one of the shoemakers in the 82 families who came with Mr. Batya to found uh, Bata Shoes in Batawa, Ontario. Uh, and they became the nucleus of one of the uh, Czech-Canadian diaspora uh, that we have today. Uh, my father, uh, Julian Herdetsky, uh, he came from Batsov uh, and uh, came after the war as uh, an immigrant, an engineer, found his way to Batawa as well, where he met my mother. And eventually they settled in uh, Kitchener, Ontario, uh, where he founded um, a, a business in pharmaceutical machinery uh, called RNJ Engineering. Uh, both my Czech-born parents, uh, I'm sure they, uh, they were proud and uh, would have been quite surprised to know that their uh, daughter, a first-generation uh, Czech-Canadian, would become a, a diplomat uh, serving as ambassador for Canada abroad. I'd like to send my uh, best greetings to uh, Czechs and Czech-Canadians who are celebrating uh, on che um, the Czech National Day and also to salute uh, those Canadians who supported uh, Czechoslovakia uh, in the uh, in the Second World War. Uh, à tous et à toutes qui uh, célèbrent la fête nationale de la République Tchèque, uh, je vous souhaite uh, bonne fête nationale. Uh, et posilam apšani všeho nejlepšího ke statnímu svatku České republiky. Thank you. From the forest and the sea, they got their food. And they never forgot to give thanks to the ravens. Treated with respect, 
the ravens knew they had nothing to fear from people. Hello to everyone from my home here in Canada. I am so happy to greet you all on this very important day, the anniversary of the independence of Czechoslovakia. I am so fortunate to be able to feel at home both in Canada and in the Czech Republic. When I came to Canada, I was very fortunate to have the opportunity to make my film Lord of the Sky in the National Film Board. The film was successful and received many awards. In Canada, I also made picture books for children, the first Red Maple Leaf, Gilgamesh, and the Cinderella Theologies, all published by Chandra Books, were translated to many languages and distributed throughout the world. I am mostly proud of the receiving the Governor General Award for the best illustration for my book, The Last Best of Gilgamesh. All my success I own to my father, the great artist and filmmaker Karel Zoma. I learned so much while I worked with him in his studio in Zlin in Czechoslovakia. He was a wonderful father, a friend and a teacher. I am so happy now that I could repay him for all he has done for me by creating the Karel Zeman Museum in Prague and by working on the restoration of his great films, Binale Skazi, Baron Prasio, or Cesta do Pravegu, that can now be rediscovered and viewed by new generation around the world. A nakonec ještě jednou přeji všem to nejlepší k letošním oslavám kniku samostatného Československa. Dobrý den, my name is Georgina Steinsky. Jmenuji se Georgina Steinsky. I am standing in front of a very unique sculpture by the Inuit people of Canada, which served as a road sign for them to find their way in the white snow of the Arctic. The Inuit people have been in Canada for many centuries. We are all immigrants, including myself, who came to Canada as a three-year-old. I had two main roads that started my life. One was the broader Canadian society, the other the society in Toronto of the 1950s and 60s established by the emigres who came in that period. I learned a lot about my Czech origins at that time, but my real discovery of my Czech roots came in 1990 when Tomasz Batya invited me to go with him to re-establish a Batya presence in shoe stores and factories in the Czech Republic. That was a euphoric time as democracy and capitalism returned to a country after 40 years. Dnes dislavíme další část české historie. Gratuluju panu velvyslancovi za unikátní oslavu a také vám přeju všem hezký svátek a hezký den. Děkuji. Vážené dámy, vážení pánové, milí krajané, s potěšením jsme přijali pozvání do pořadu, který inicioval pan velvyslanec České republiky Bořek Lizec. Zaspíváme píseň Jiřího Traxlera, souputníka pánů Voskovce a Vericha a spolupracovníka Jaroslava Ješka. Vaši krásnou zemi znám pouze z několika mezi přistání, když jsme cestovali za oceán. A také z pořadu, respektive z cestopisu o Kanadě, kterou před dávnými lety natočila Česká televize. My jsme k tomuto 
cestopisu natočili vaší státní hymnu. Od té doby vnímám vaší hymnu intenzivněji než kdykoliv předtím a při příležitostech, kdy zazní na jakémkoliv fóru, si ji schutí a radostí zaspívám. Jste nahor, tam v dáli nad kaňonem, modré stíny už jdou. Moje píseň se ve mně vrací tichou ozvěnou. Z hodbe svítí osamělá hvězda, dnes už končí má pouť. Hlava moje plná vzpomínek si hledá hlídný kout. Když soumrak zlou napadá, můj bože, jak sladko je sní, na stráně stichlá stáda a všude vládne mír a klid. Záře mého ohně do hasína, brzy půjdu už spát. A ty ve vzpomínkách ke mně přijdeš dobrou noc mi dá. Ty ve vzpomínkách ke mně přijdeš dobrou noc mi dá. Zdravíme z Viktorie, hlavního města Britské Kolumbie na samém západě. Kanady. Členové Vancouverské pobočky Českého slovenského združení zdraví své krajany. Přestože nás rozděluje spousta politiků, jsme všichni na jedné rovnoběžce a společně oslavujeme nejvýznamnější svátek 28. října založení Československé republiky. Pozdravujeme! Tam kde hy, tam kde hy, tam kde jinou vlci, tam kde hy, tam kde hy, tam kde jinou vlci, tam kde hy, tam kde hy, tam kde jinou soby, Čech se přizpůsobí, Čech se přizpůsobí. Good evening, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Good večer, vážení přátelé. Čeli Čelinek, Glory Comes the General of the Czech Republic for the province of Alberta. Thank you very much. You found the time to celebrate this special day with us. Thank you. Karol Hoffman, z České obchodní asociace v Kanadě, při příležitosti oslav výročí vzniku Československa. Vás všechny v České republice a krajany na celém světě srdečně zdravím ze Skalistý hor z Alberty poblíž Lake Louise. Asociace v Edmontonu posílá postra 
do České republiky a na ambasádu. Ahoj! Jmenuji se Milan Kroupa, jsem majitelem letiště Invail. U příležitosti oslav státního svátku 28. října bych vás rád tímto všechny zde v Kanadě i v České republice pozdravil. Ladies and gentlemen, I am sending warm greetings from Prague on behalf of the Canadian Chamber of Commerce in the Czech Republic. Our chamber is a networking platform organizing business and social events in order to support activities of our members and friends. Visit us on gocanada.cz. I would like to wish you a positive mindset, energy and all the best. Milí krajani, oslavme spolu vidě na dálku výročí založení Československa a státní svátek naší země. I'm really glad I made it back from Badova in time. I'm standing in front of Rideau Hall, the seat of the Governor's General of Canada. On June 3rd, 1943, Governor General the Earl of Athlone welcomed President Benesh at the Ottawa railway station. From there, they drove together to Rideau Hall for the first meeting. About a year ago, I had the great honor to present my letters of credence here to the current Governor General, Her Excellency, the Right Honorable Julia Pyatt. We mentioned in our documentary that today, just as during the Second World War, Czech and Canadian soldiers stand side by side in defense of the values of freedom and democracy. I am honored and proud to present members of the Czech and Canadian armed forces that serve together under the NATO flag in Latvia. Hello everybody, I greet you from Latvia. I am Captain Jiří Pudil and I am a member of the Armády České republiky. V této zahraniční operaci působím na pozici velitele 5. hlukového skupení. Jeho žádro tvoří příslušníci 44. lehkého motorizovaného praporu z Jindřichova Hradce. Společně s dalšími osmi státy zde působíme pod volením Kanady. Jsem rád, že v roce 2020, kde je to právě 75 let od ukončení druhé světové války, máme možnost zde v Lotisku v rádci IFP Battle Group Latvia spolupracovat s kanadskou armádou. Ahoj všichni, I'm Lieutenant Colonel Trevor Norton, I'm the commanding officer of the Enhanced Forward President Valerie of Latvia. Here, Canadians, Czechs and seventh other nations serve in the defense of Latvia. Today, we stand together to celebrate the 75th end of the Second World War and Czech National Day. Bylo to dávno před lety, divočina zavolala a srdce trempů ozvěnou na volání se ozvala. Táhli proti proudu, táhli dálavou, Zdravíme všechny Kanaďany. Zdravíme všechny Čecho Kanaďany. Hello, Canadians and Czechs living in Canada. A děkujeme za pomoc při budování Československa a po druhé světové válce s velkou úctou. S velkou úctou. S velkou úctou i, i proto, že jste našeho pana prezidenta Masaryka tam podpořili a stáli jste za ním. No, my jsme měli velkého přítele Jiřího Traxlera. Znali jsme se osobně, protože on po, po revoluci při, přijížděl do Prahy. A dokonce jsme natočili desku s jeho písničkami, což byla vlastně první deska, která se mu vlastně podařila natočit. Autorská deska. Je autorská jeho deska. 
a i v soukromí jsme si psali a volali. Já mám na něj nádhernou vzpomínku, že jsem byla na houbách, šla jsem s košičkem v lese a najednou mi zazvonil telefon a byl to Jirka Traxler. A já jsem mu říkala, Jirko, víte jsem, já jsem na houbách. A mu říkal, Andulko, já už na houbě nemůžu, ale to bylo opravdu krátce před jeho smrtí, možná tak půl roku. A on říká, tak já budu hledat s tebou, tak mi říkej, co vidíš. A já jsem se otočila a tam stal ohromný hřeb. <laughs> tak jsme spolu našli jeho potřeba. Já řeknu jednu báseň z jeho sbírky s poněkud plagiátorským názvem ze života hmyzu. Musí to být fuška, být svatojánská muška. Mě by tedy hnětlo být na zadku světlo. A já řeknu jednu básničku, kterou nám Jirka Traxler napsal a věnoval a přál si, aby jsme ji recitovali na jevišti během našich koncertů. Tak, my jsme ty Havelkovi sestry, my žijeme život pestý. Ve svingu ovzduší srdce se rozpuší, když muzikanti v rytmu zahudou. Zpíváme, až se z nás kouří, manželé doma o čem houří, ale potají i doufají, že naše děti zpívat nebudou. Zdravíme všechny Kanaděny. Zdravíme všechny. A Čecho Kanaděny. I see I just missed President Badash. Let's go back to 2020. This building used to be the seat of the Czechoslovak Embassy during the Second World War. 
several important events took place here during the visit of President Edward Benesh in 1943. Governor General, the Earl of Athalon, and Prime Minister Mackenzie King were guests here at an official dinner. You have seen quite a bit of what my country looked like many decades ago. I hope that you will enjoy the contemporary presentation of the Czech Republic and of our UNESCO sites. Naše sbírka má důležitý umění český. Například malíř Karel Škreta, Jaroslav Hovadík, Alfons Mucha, everybody's favorite, a fotograf Josef Sudek. Odsudka máme velko, velkou sbírku, která je šíleně důležitá. Jedna z nejlep, nej, nejlepších a největších ve světě. It's through these works that we celebrate the rich history of the Czech Republic and the stories of its people, including all of you. And it's that that we're celebrating today on Czech National Day. So on behalf of the entire National Gallery team, to His Excellency, the Ambassador from the Czech Republic, and to all of you, we wish you a happy National Day and many thanks for giving us the opportunity to say thank you and welcome to being part of our community. Hello everyone. All ties between Canada and the Czech Republic are close to my heart since my parents escaped from communist Czechoslovakia and immigrated to Canada in 1949. After the Russian invasion of Czechoslovakia in 1968, my wife was one of many refugees who were welcomed to Canada with open arms. When the Havels visited Canada on a state visit, my father suggested to Olga Havel that she start a charitable organization and he would give her a large contribution. This was the origin of the Olga Havel Foundation, the Vibor Dobre Vule. My parents passed away a few years ago and their monument has the image of a maple leaf and a linden leaf, symbolizing the two great nations that mean so much to the Velen family. Best wishes for the Czech National Day. Všechno nejlepší na Národní den. Bonjour, hello, dobrý den from the Canadian Embassy in Prague. My name is Aisha Reiki, je m'appelle Aisha Reiki, et je suis l'ambassadrice du Canada ici en République Tchèque. As Canada's ambassador to the Czech Republic, I am honored to offer my very best wishes to Czech friends and colleagues on the occasion of the Czech Republic's National Day. Our countries and our people have forged close ties from Czechoslovak and Canadian pilots training side by side during World War II to Canada's sheltering of Czechoslovak political refugees in 1948 and 68, to our steadfast support to dissidents throughout the communist period, to today, where, as allies, our soldiers stand shoulder to shoulder, cooperating through the NATO Enhanced Forward Presence Battle Group in Latvia. This year, as we mark the 75th anniversary of the end of World War II, we recognize the one million Canadians and Newfoundlanders, including the many Czech Canadians who sacrificed their lives for peace in Europe. 
I have had the honor to pay respects at their graves here in the Czech Republic, and I have heard from Czech friends about their deep appreciation for Canadian contributions to resistance efforts, like the Canadian aircraft used in Operation Anthropoid. I would like to thank my dear colleague, Ambassador Lisek, the Czech Republic's ambassador to Canada, for bringing us together in this challenging time to celebrate the remarkable bravery of Canadians and Czech Canadians during the Second World War. As friends and allies, Canada remains committed to the Czech Republic as together we continue to promote democracy and human rights and cooperate for our prosperity and our shared security. Happy National Day, Bonne fête nationale, je ne lepsi que statni musvatku. Zas si tak smutná, kdo se má na to koukat nic jíst. Ty nechutná, v hlavě máš asi brouka, tak nesoufej. Nic to není, za chvíli se to změní, snad jsem to zavinil já. Dobrý večer, vážení přátelé, já vás zdravím z domova ze svého sídla, poblíž Prahy, při nádherném podzimním počasí. Doufám, že se máte dobře a že se v očekávání krásného programu, který se bude týkat významného výročí, 102. výročí vzniku naší republiky. Já jsem v Kanadě párkrát byl, hrál jsem tam naposledy před třemi lety v Torontu a měl jsem tam nádherný koncert. A dnes jsem byl vyzván, abych připravil písničku českého skladatele Jiřího Traxtera, který převážnou část jeho života strávil právě v Kanadě. On to byl ovšem swingař a já jsem rocker a já k tomu swingu zase až tak blízko nemám. Tak jsem se s tím popral a jsem zvědavý, co tomu řeknete. Taky bych, vás, taky bych vás chtěl pozvat na turné, který budou mít příští rok se svojí dcerou Martou. Tu turné bude napříč Kanadou a samozřejmě část toho turné bude taky ve Spojených státek. Tak to je všechno. Chci vám popřát hezký večer, mějte se fajn, mějte se rádi a doufám, že za rok nashledanou.
Dobrý večer, dámy a pánové. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Bonsoir, mesdames et messieurs. I send my warm greetings and uh, great thanks across the Atlantic on the occasion of the Czech National Day. This year we commemorate the 75th anniversary of the end of the Second World War. During the conflict, uh, our friends and compatriots in Canada helped us restore Czechoslovakia. Together we defeated Nazism. I'm convinced that together, as close friends and allies, we will overcome also the COVID-19 pandemic and uh, any other challenge we might face in the future. At all international fora and even in conflict zones, uh, the Czech Republic and Canada stand together to defend the values of freedom, democracy, human rights, rule of law, gender equality, solidarity and responsibility. We will continue to do so. It has been a great pleasure to work with my friend, François-Philippe Champagne, I hope to have an opportunity to welcome him soon in the Czech Republic. I also look forward to visiting your beautiful country soon. Zdravím všechny naše krajany. Děkuji za vaši trvalou podporu a přeji vám krásný slavnostní večer. We have come to the end of our program. I would like to thank all our guests, official representatives of our countries, Czech music stars, distinguished Czech Canadians, representatives of our government and community organizations across Canada, to Czech and Canadian troops serving together in Latvia, and to you, our viewers, for joining us tonight. I would like to thank also to my colleagues for their help with the project. On their behalf and on behalf of our families, I would like to wish you a pleasant rest of this special evening. Let's make a toast to those who helped save us our modern statehood during the Second World War. To those who contributed to its creation 102 years ago. To all our friends in Canada and around the world today. And in these difficult times, let's toast to what we always toast in the Czech Republic, a votre santé. The time has come to say goodbye. Let's do it in style. Zapomněl jsem odkud nevím a nikam. Nikdo neloučil se se mnou, na nikoho nečekám. Jedu nocí se svým koněm sám. Nikdy nepochopíš děvče krásné, proč ti musím s Bohem dát? Snad ti poví za mě hvězdy jasné, že mám tě stále rád. Cesta má dál vede Bůh víká. Krok za krokem stoupám k modrým dálavám. Kolem ví Zpívá tichou píseň, kterou dobře znám. Jedu nocí se svým koněm sám.